Have you ever had such a big, beautiful, gorgeous goal for your life that the sheer size of it and beauty of it sort of intimidates you and prevents you from getting started in the first place? When I was in high school, I was a little bit obsessed with motivational quotes. I would collect them and stick them in my locker. And all of my favorite motivational quotes always had to do with having big dreams and stopping at nothing until uh, you achieve those big goals. And I learned how to do that. Over time, I started to internalize a lot of what I was learning in these quotes, and my goals for my life became these sort of gorgeous mountains in the background, almost like Mount Everest. But here's one thing I didn't expect. Sometimes, those big, gorgeous Mount Everests in the background of my life were preventing me from climbing the much smaller, much less impressive, but much more climbable little hill that was sort of on the way in that same direction. We are uh, gaining some traction on our new uh, two-year strategic plan here at Highview Reaching Out. And one of the, the, the components of that two-year plan is reaching out to others with the good news about Jesus, learning how to, to talk about Jesus with people who don't know him. Now, I love Jesus. But talking about Jesus uh, outside the church in the non-Christian world with my non-Christian friends and family is really difficult for me. It doesn't come naturally. It's not easy. I do have a vision, though, of what it could look like if I could get really good at sharing my faith. And this vision is my Mount Everest. So my vision looks like this, you know, all of my neighbors on my street would become Christians and want to follow Jesus because we'd have these really intense conversations while we were all taking out the garbage and all the kids at my, all the, all the parents rather at my kids school would want to follow Jesus because we'd have these excellent conversations when we're picking up or dropping off and we'd have to start small groups in my neighborhood and then there'd be so many small groups that the small groups would have to plant a church like gorgeous right but sometimes that gorgeous Mount Everest goal gets in the way of me taking the small step that I can actually take that doesn't actually intimidate me, um, but is sort of in that direction anyway. Here are a couple of small hills that I, I am actually capable of climbing right now when it comes to talking about Jesus. Praying out loud for my kids at their own birthday parties in front of their non-Christian friends and their parents recommending really great faith-based books to my friends and family members who don't know Jesus. And if you know me, then you know recommending books is basically my love language, not something I find scary or intimidating at all. You know, it takes a lot of humility to climb those small little hills that are so not Mount Everest, but are right in front of us. But you know what? <laughs> Climbing those little hills in that direction is a heck of a lot closer to Mount Everest than sitting on my couch <laughs> looking at pictures of Mount Everest on the internet and not climbing anything. When it comes to talking about Jesus, What's your Mount Everest? And what are the little hills on the way there? <laughs>